And now, ladies and gentlemen, live around the world from Echo Arena here in Liverpool, England. This is the main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds scheduled in the CWFC welterweight division. Presented by Super Saturday. Check it out June 7th in London, England. Log on to cagewarriors.com for more details. The three judges scoring this bout at cage side on the 10-point must system. Ben Cartledge, David Leatherby, and Mark Collette. And when the action begins inside the cage, your referee in charge, Mark Gunner. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready. The fighters are ready. The world is ready. Liverpool, England, make some noise if you are ready! <laughs> Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a boxer, wrestler, standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing at officially 169 and one third pounds. This 33 fight veteran brings a record that stands at 25 victories and eight defeats from Lopra, England. Here is Judo Jimmy Warhead. And next is the opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Here's a mixed martial artist standing six feet, one inch tall. His official weight, 170 and one half pounds. In 11 professional bouts, he has 10 victories with just one defeat. He is the fighting pride of Liverpool, England, Danny Hot Chocolate Robert. Once again, referee Mark Goddard with the final instruction. Okay, gentlemen, you know exactly what I expect. Listen to me at all times, keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. Touch yes. gloves, let's do this. Final instructions delivered by referee Mark Goddard, Danny Hot Chocolate Roberts in the orange, Judo Jim Wallhead in the white, Cage Warrior 68 main event, Brad Wharton, Josh Palmer calling the action. Jim Wallhead immediately pumping out that jab, same for Danny Roberts. Roberts with a boxing background. Switched to mixed martial arts a few years ago. Wallhead, a good boxer himself. I'm curious to see who's got the bigger takedowns. Danny Roberts famous for launching his opponents. Jim Wallhead, his last win coming by knockout due to slam. Roberts throwing out the one-two. Wallhead looking very composed. Pumping out that jab to find his range. Lovely double now. change from Jimmy Wallhead. He's trying to turn the corner. Wallhead with a big takedown early, Josh. Yeah, and you see how Steps immediately he mount. climbs high. Well, early mount for Jim Wallhead. See if he gets his base really wide. Those hips are low. He's trying to make himself as heavy as possible on Danny Roberts. Danny Roberts is going to have to watch out for his arms here. Can't reach up too readily. We thought this would be a fight contested at all ranges, Josh, and certainly proving to be the case so far. Jimmy Wallard getting the first takedown. Yeah, looking for that head and arm briefly. See him gripping underneath the tricep of Danny Roberts. See Roberts having to bring that right arm back inside quickly. Tight mount for Jimmy Wallhead here. Not much ground and pound yet, though. Roberts is staying so mobile that... Jimmy Wallet's having to constantly shift his hips around, shift his grips around to keep him in place. That's not allowing Wallhead to get any strikes off. Neither man heavily fa favoured by the odds makers. Judo Jim Wallhead minus 105, a slight favourite. Roberts minus 135. Oh, and Jim Wallhead looks to go to the back here. Danny Roberts has to give up the mount again. He almost bang, found his way bang, out. Bang. Look how low Jim Wallhead gets his hips here. Trying to stay as heavy as possible. Thanks to the guys at MMA Odds Breaker for tweeting as those odds using the hashtag CWFC68. Danny Roberts is coming close to finding his way out, but Wallhead has an answer, and here we see a few shots now. Fantastic mount control from Jimmy Wallhead, though. I mean, what Danny Roberts has to try and get. Uh, Wallet's hips back to some sort. Oh, and he gets out now. This is fantastic work. Immediately, Wallet looks to pass. 
just no delay in the execution of the techniques. That really what sets these guys apart at high level. Wallhead passing into side control now. But Josh, how many times have we seen Danny Roberts put in a bad position and then come back to seriously impress us? There's no quit in this kid. I mean, you know, Jimmy Wallhead is going to have to put him away decisively to earn a win in this fight. And just staying very heavy here, making himself really wide. Looking to take the back now. We've seen Danny Roberts strip the uh, rear naked choke grip a few times, trying to roll out. And he's going to come out on top here. Beautiful transition from Hot Chocolate. Immediately posturing, left Wallhead straight back up to his feet. Jim Wallhead did not give Danny Roberts a single millisecond to establish that position. Hot Chocolate trying to fire the knees up now. Earns himself a little bit of space. Wallhead on the attack. Wallhead landing the right hand. Roberts with a two punch combination. They're throwing heavy leather here in the main event at Cage Warriors 68. Again, Wallhead Wallhead again underneath. Dr. Lando takes the back. Look how quickly he turned the corner there. You saw his head come up. He drove with everything he had. Really riding out on top of Roberts here. Roberts trying to get a takedown of his own, but immediately sprawling, threatening to attack the neck is Wallhead. Wallhead with the knees. The pace these guys are setting is something. Quite phenomenal. And Josh, you just get the sense that anything could happen in this fight. Phenomenal stuff from our matchmaker, Ian Dean, putting this one together. Jim Wallhead, he's going to look to move to the back. See that left arm of Robert. Oh, he tries to sit out. Oh, fantastic stuff from Danny Roberts. Absolutely sublime. Roberts now trying to throw some knees to the body. They separate. Both men throwing out punches, trying to find their range. Wallhead with a left hand. We've seen Wallhead score some brutal one-hit KOs before. Roberts oh, oh, that's that's right hand. Hand. Big hand of this! Danny Roberts knocks wow. out Jim Wallhead! Unbelievable! Danny Hot Chocolate Roberts is victorious in the main event of Cage Warriors 68 in his hometown of Liverpool. All it took was that one right hand. Everything was going right for Jimmy Wallhead. Got the takedown, got the position, mount for so long. But Danny Roberts came here for the kill and he got it. The torch has been passed. It was the best of the new school versus the best of the old school tonight. New school won. Danny Roberts is the next big thing on Cage Warriors. What an incredible scout for him here. We're going to take a look at some of that action. How good is Jim Wallhead? How good was he in the early stages of this round, Josh? He was doing everything right. The mount control was fantastic. Danny Roberts, he never gave up, never lost heart. And at this point, you had to think Jim Wallhead was in control of this first round. That was absolutely sublime from Danny Roberts. Exchanging strikes, it looked like Wallhead was getting the better, but it was a right hook, right on the temple, and a three or four huge hammer fist with a left hand from Danny Roberts. Right in the death of that first round. Jim Wallhead struggling to get back to his feet. Yeah, the one next to throw no shoes on, that's so ratchet. Absolutely phenomenal fight. We wish it could have lasted longer. We really could have watched that all night. But it's Danny Roberts with the knockout. Danny Roberts with the win. And Danny Roberts making a huge statement in the main event here at Cage Warrior 68. We're going to throw this one to Joe Martinez in the cage to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially at the time. Four minutes, 49 seconds, round number one. Your winner by TKO victory from Liverpool. Danny Hot Chocolate!